Shout out to MC for believing in the vision That's my homie. He took me in and joined me on this crazy mission yeah, yeah. So now it's up to me to make the execution Execute. You can never box me in, I'm more than Afrofusion I can switch it up and bring it back, all without confusion yeah, yeah. Don't get too comfortable, you're gonna need a cushion But that brings to me to ask you this question You know that African culture yeah. is very 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 hard to erase out Of course You know what I mean? Yeah. So why we we still with that you know what african culture is yeah. you know what it, it, how we are raised up by the african culture yeah. you know what i mean and it has the both the negative and the, the positive impact right on us as this generation and the generation to come yeah. you know what i mean which that the way you're saying that something that african culture avoid for us to do like make us you know things not to do and there's some also african culture that really like it has impacted us on on the positive way yeah. so if you look at the african culture mm. and you look at what it has done to the society do you think that for the generation to come do you think we should be keep moving on the african culture or we should just let it decide and we keep on with with the new mindset the new idea the new education that we are trying to get you know so that we yeah. won't impact into our kids and other generations come yeah i feel like mixing of generations and cultures will help a lot because now there's like a lot of intermarriages mm-hmm. even a lot of africans are now marrying westerners and right. they're mixing cultures beliefs mm. so of course there'll be a sort of a balance there'll be a bit of the western world and of course there'll also be a bit of the african world mm. so i don't for me i don't think we're going to strictly maintain that african culture unless it's for these people that have this mentality like like my dad for example mm-hmm. one time he was telling me i actually want you to marry an african woman <laughs> and when she has it's better if she's actually from the same tribe so he has that mentality mm-hmm. so for me i'm thinking but you you can't force me to marry someone absolutely like not even your dad yeah. my mom like when i say yeah. my mom like i want to marry you know this the kind of lady i want to marry she was like yeah. no you should marry one day oh that shit i was like yeah, mama so, so now i feel like that's what keeps us in that uh stay rooted in africa <laughs> what we, so not, not even at least not even i don't think like even like uh it's africa it's general like general africa yeah but yeah we still have that issue that you have to even to marry your tribe yeah mate. you know what i mean yeah, like so, you yeah, know that's like what you're rwandese saying. you have to marry rwandi yeah you're muganda you have to marry muganda you are mtoro you have to marry mtoro you know what i mean yeah. so i think that's the same thing as you gave me an example of your pop it's the same thing that came to me like yeah. my mom was like you should marry rwandese i was like mama mm-mm, that's not me that's not me you're gonna love me as your kid the but have changed. this this is me you know what i mean you yeah. ain't gonna force me to marry someone that i'm not feeling for yeah you know what i mean not someone that you know that tribe that i'm not feeling for yeah you know what i mean yes i'm around it i accept it yeah but again i don't want to marry them because i got my own reason it's just because i don't i don't love them it's just yeah. because I love them to death but at the end of the day this is my choice yeah i, I feel like also that acceptance can help us like develop a lot mm-hmm. just like this issue you've been talking about development yeah that acceptance of like the western world for like, real yes, yes you know yes. let's accept them as part of our family let's mm. learn from them mm. instead of saying ah let them be in their own world let us do our own thing yeah. that, that will only push us back exactly so i feel like by intermarrying and diff- mixing cultures that will actually teach us a lot open our eyes up a lot that's why they're ahead of us for a reason and for a reason they have a lot of things they can teach us mm-hmm. so i feel like that part also plays a lot Mi- the mixing of cultures you don't have to just stay african with your judges great <laughs> judges beliefs like you know yeah and even you you look at it even though the weddings yeah you 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 have to call your grandies, your aunties, your, your friends. You, you find that you're feeding almost 500. Man, Bruh. you know Jesus. People are broke when they're starting a marriage. <laughs> you're supposed to start a marriage. With, me, I've seen marriages like inter, people intermarrying with like Westerners. Mm. They go to the law thing. Uh, what is it called? It's it's civil, civil, it's civil marriage. Yeah. Mm. They sign. They just invite family and friends. And actually, the family and friends are the ones that give them you know gifts they don't have to like contribute like wedding meetings things like that no picture out bro that's the same thing that we still us our stem the african culture how yeah. negatively 
Yeah. Bro, I'm a young man who's trying to create a family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, I accept I accept all that that love from the society, but not everyone that comes to my wedding yeah. is feeling for me like he's happy for me. You, and you, then you, you have to pay bright price. Like, exactly. What, what is bright price? <laughs> I feel like instead of paying that bride price, you could use that money because you're starting a home. You're right? starting a home. Yeah, so you, you actually need that money. Absolutely. To help start your home because it's a new home. Your parents already set up. Exactly. So it's, why would you pay bride price? Yes. I, I should bring 10 cows, 20 yeah. cows. Those cows could actually set up like your they first were, kid. Like when my sister, my sister, the, the boyfriend came to introduce to her home, yeah. we're asking him like 15 cows. I was like, Mama, what the heck is going on? So I want them to start a family when they're broke. When yeah. they're, come on, is this like <laughs> saying that your daughter, what's going on here? Mm. You know what I mean? Perhaps what's going on? Is it like you're saying your daughter, what's going on? You know yeah. what I mean? So that's the point I'm telling you, like, I'm not getting this shit. Like, the Africa, me, I was like, hey, I don't need anything from you. Like, yeah. I, when I'm a time out, if God blesses me and I get to the point, like, I'm going to wait, I don't yeah. need anything because I'm going to look for somewhere where I'm not paying any shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You find, like, most of these people that marry white women, for example, all they do is they ask for the hand from the parent. They don't have to pay shit Nothing. to the parent. Bro, <laughs> Jesus fed, is it 5,000 people? Mm. Eh? Yeah. So who am I to feed 500 people? <laughs> people even I don't yeah. know. That I know, my, right? I, I, my auntie from brought the 100 friends of hers, my uncle brought 500 friends. You know what I mean? Man. People appear on your wedding and even you don't know them. Yeah. Why do you have to have, just have like, if it's maximum like 30 people, okay, it'd be 50. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Save I've, I've seen those weddings actually where I find like 50 people, people that are actually there for them. Yeah, they are for, and there you for know them. You know all of them. Marriage. You know yeah. what I mean? So at the end of the day, I see people struggling at you know, this budget of weddings killing me. Yeah, well, and you have to it. invite that auntie you last saw like 15 <laughs> years ago. Like, where has she been this past 15 years? <laughs> Man, bro, this this is something like, uh, it's really taking us back. Yeah. The only thing I love with African culture is one thing. The morals, the way they raise their, like, their respect to their parents, you know, yeah. the way they raise their kids to respect their parents. That yeah. one, I'm 100% like, yeah. Because the kids should respect the parent. And I think I love the thing where they gather, all of them bring, like, they gather, they bring all those uh, love together, dance yeah. and all that shit, you know, like on Christmas, which is, yeah. they copped it from the Western world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you see the West, Western world, like, they go, they give free gifts on Christmas, like, yeah. you know, but other things besides that, bro, African culture, mm -mm, I'm not with it. Yeah, there's no way we can evolve if we're still living with our ancestors. That's the same thing I was telling you, bro. Yeah, so. you, there's no way you're going to tell your daddy that on my wedding, I just need only 10 friends of mine and 10 f from your side and 10 relatives. And you're going to allow that. Yeah. That means you have to fight a battle, right? Yeah, that's another struggle. <laughs> that's so, another struggle. That's another struggle. Me when I think like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just call mom and pops yeah. like you know what i'm having a wedding tomorrow yeah i take it somewhere they don't know call my homies then what i'll do in order to show them that i didn't disrespect them or something like that then i tell them you know what organize a part at your ho at home you know yeah, home home home, home yeah. so that i can bring my wife to show your friends you yeah. know what i mean just a simple party yeah. so that they don't bring these things that Culture thing, run this dancing, all those things. Yeah. Nah, bro, that's wasted your money. You're gonna rent these dancers, they're gonna take you like millions. Man. Food, millions, drinks, yeah. millions. So at the end of the day, me and my wife, what are we gonna start with? Zero. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So me, that's what my plans are like. I, I'm not just praying God to help me out to my plans to go through. But to be honest, I don't wanna sit like I'm here with my wife maybe on this on the on this or on, on the you know on the here sitting, I'm seeing a thousand people. Strangers <laughs> mostly. Man. Straight, even the ones I don't know. Yeah. You know? Enjoying my sweat and all that shit. Yeah. Oh, that's not People that won't be there for you. In your mm, exactly, you know. Yeah, so. so that's what I'm saying, like African African culture, first of all, it has brought our education system. Yeah. African culture it has like sport our development. 
That's what I can say. I wouldn't say spoiled. I would say maybe hindered. Yeah, okay. Sorry to use the word spoiled. Yeah. Hindered our development. African culture has also hindered our talent. You know what I mean? As yeah. young kids who are trying to make it, who are yeah. trying to bring Africa on the map. But whenever you have your judges saying, oh, those are devil. You're saying you're devil to this. Oh, you're going to the Illuminati. You know what I mean? Bruh, this, <laughs> I think my mom saw this shirt. Yeah. So you see it has an ego. What? <laughs> She was like, well, why do you buy the satanic things? Like, Mom, this is an ego. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Man, you know, so, you know, so that's what I'm talking about. So, at the end of the day, I don't know how we're going to change it, but it's going to take us another journey. You know what I mean? So, yeah, to, but I feel at least better for the next generation because our eyes are being opened mm. and uh, we're accepting more of the Western culture and Although we still have the African culture, we value it, but we're also open to other mm. cultures now. So, to you, to your understanding, you know, me right now is so about Africa because today I was like prepared to talk about this crazy thing that is really happening in Africa. Mm. You see, there's too much, a lot of unemployment. Yeah. But also it comes to this a lot of corruption in africa yeah which one is to the other yeah C- corruption leads to unemployment in the in the continent not in it's just a all african continent it'd be south africa at least i don't consider south africa as a developed country yeah, they have a very high unemployment rate also what i consider I co- consider south africa as the a second developed country Yes, it's second world. It's second world. Because if you talk about the third world country, we are, we are, we are here, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So you find that because of corruption, it has led to a lot of unemployment. Mm. You understand? So to, you, to your understanding, to your understanding, like what could the, the leaders, our leaders or our government systems can help to, how can they help to manage this, to remove this sickness of unemployment in the youth? Man, I, I feel, for me, I actually feel like the biggest role is upon us ourselves. Because we, we don't the have the, the power. government is not going to help us. But we don't have the power. Yeah, but we've reached a point where we realize the government doesn't want to help us. So if we don't have the power, yeah. what are we going to do? To be honest, right yeah. now you. We're going to have to be creative. And creative who is going to support you? You no, let's take it here, mm. bro. You smart in music industry. Yeah, you are so so, so you're smart. You are talented in music. Yeah, there is no way I'm gonna mm. go to the government and you know. But the issue is this. My go. point is this. Yeah, you got this. Is the system. This is the government system. Yeah, check the US. Music in music industry is being protected very well. Yeah, they got loyalties. Yeah. They their music their their contracts are well supported. Oh yeah, I understand. You, you, you get my point. Yeah. This is the things of the government that should do. Yeah. You get my point. And you can see Uganda is trying, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The government doesn't the, want to help us. This is the that's thing of now you you jump you're missing a point here, what I'm trying to say. Mm. So you are saying that you you ain't gonna go to to the government to help you, but mm. where the government helps is Developing your industry, yeah. That whenever we, you, yeah, we actually need them. You, exactly. There's but, no way you're gonna do anything without the government. But they don't want. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because they are corrupt. Yeah. You get my point. Yeah. Because Cause, cause, bro, if right now the way you're talented, you are in the US right now, mm-hmm. you could be something like Jay Z or some like Kanye. Yeah. Because actually, this whole thing is this whole thing is connected, man. The way we were set up, you get. From the education, the way we were set that's up. A, just, that's the thing I'm, I'm to trying every to sector. Exactly. So now you find like even the way we need the government now, because for speaking of the royalties part, because mm-hmm. we need the government now to set up those offices, mm-hmm. have workers that can, you know, actively collect those royalties. Absolutely. But that's, the government looks at that like, ah, now we have to employ more. We have to set a budget for this. <laughs> now that would be a burden. Someone will just look at that and be like, if this costs a million dollars to do this, why don't I just put maybe like a 50,000 and then the rest? <laughs> so you find like instead of em- employing like a good setup of like 100 people mm-hmm. to be able to co- collect the royalties mm. like, very well, mm. 
they'll just depend on like five to ten set a small budget mm -hmm. five to ten and then this five to ten will end up not doing the the job efficiently that's what i'm talking about yeah no. that's what i'm saying they don't want to help us but that's the issue that is still like killing the us youth yeah people kids who are talented for check our sports in africa yeah Bro, check out the stadiums that now they're opening their eyes, they have started constructing the stadium. Yeah. But imagine number has been just sitting there doing nothing. You know, those pioneer buses Until were fucking... Ham, Ham is independent. He's the one that took the initiative. So that's what I'm saying. The government doesn't want hmm? to help us, man. It's upon us ourselves. But the issue is not upon ourselves. Yeah. We still have our parents who are in power. Mm. Who still have those that old school mind? Yeah. You understand? You ain't gonna tell. You ain't gonna tell the minister. How old is she? Fifty. Yeah, but ah. then also look at it like this. Like just like I mentioned earlier, you don't know what it really feels like until you're in that seat yourself. No, bro. Let me tell yeah. you, Sam. That's what for me. I don't really the, check, the, the least, the least, the least amount a minister is being paid in Uganda is twenty million Ugandan shirin. Twenty m. Yeah. With all the allowances. You get my point. Gas. The car is full. Yeah, the tank is full. Think about it like this. Now you've reached that level. More money, more problems, right? No, you've get... reached... no think about it like this. You've reached that level now. You have more money now. You have more problems now. So you feel like, ah, now I, I get this money. This is a lot of money, actually. But now also your responsibility have gone up. Which responsibility? A lot of people you have to take care of. Like who? A lot. No, just listen, <laughs> no. listen. Like who? No, bro. bro you, can't, you can't judge them without they, knowing what No, this is a person who was born by, like you. Yeah. They they carried that person for nine months. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this is different caliber no, now. No, get my point. That person got married. He has kids all three to four. Yeah. Those kids go in in school. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. They do she their parents they have to take care of their kids. Yeah. Buy food, provide them shelter or clothing and all that thing. Yeah. Well, what are those twenty million million you guys gonna do? Which other problem that that person got? A lot. Man. Like what? You don't know but they're no. there. No, honestly, think, how honestly? What problem right now? If yeah. they give you twenty million twenty million you guys yeah. what apart from you saying, Okay, let me just now start doing what? Start putting it into my, my, my talent and develop my talent. Yeah. What other, pro other problems do you got? Are you sick? Bruh, for me, no. I can never, <laughs> I can never, to you. I no. can never judge them for their actions. No, 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 no. Bro, until I'm in that that position the, myself. The, the United States, the president of the United States of America is paying 500,000 USD per, per year. Huh? I don't care. No, 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 it's, no, I'm just giving, it's not about, yeah. you don't care. Yeah. It's just like, I need, it's an example that I'm giving yeah, you. Yeah, but you don't know what because else. You don't know what else comes with it. No, he's provided with allowances, all the street, all those things. Yeah. Why he gets money through his speeches, like Obama makes his money through the speeches and all those things, right? Yeah. And his endorsements and all those things. Yeah. But to be honest, you are elected to lead certain people. Yeah. Or to lead a nation or to lead a certain district. Yeah. The only problem you problems you can tell me yeah. is the problems for the people, not your fucking personal problems. Yeah, but then once you reach there, you've upgraded in life, right? But don't, you don't want to go back to where you're coming from, right? Bro, no, think about it like this. No, think about Are it you like doing this. that job for free or you're doing it you for money? No, just you got a salary, right? Of course, not everyone is the same. No, you now got, you see the way your mind is made up about this, right? You have a different perspective. I also have a different perspective mm -hmm. on it. So, of course, not everyone's going to be the same. Someone's going to come with the mentality of like, I've upgraded in life now. I can't, my kids cannot now go to this public school. You have to now go to this international school. The uh -huh. budget has gone up. Mm -hmm. I have to now bring my relatives, build a home for them, take care of the rest of my family. So, if someone that, goes with that mentality. No, that's not, that, that means that you're not a leader. You just came to harvest from people. Yeah, so... Shit happens like that. No, <laughs> because to be honest, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm being, I'm being swayed. Yeah. You can't say that I elected you to go and help your fucking family. Yeah, but no. <laughs> no, to be what's honest, the, let's, what's, what's no, let's, thing? let's uh, be, let, let's not think about like, let's be straight up and yeah. talk about you came to power. Yeah. Because you wanted, you came telling people no, that I'm going to. Actually, gonna... there's people that come with good intentions. 
and then along the way they are corrupted man so it's not like everyone that has good intentions is going to maintain them like that people get corrupted along the way man they, they see all these nice things and then they get them temptations man people bro just like they say money is the root of all evil no man. yeah i get money so the, but your yeah. pay your pay to fucking no and, and 20 20 fucking you gonna me on you gonna shit yeah now someone may not understand it until they get there you it, said now let me see you see check it out 20m right mm-hmm. ug ugx yeah right yeah medication your kids are being saved yeah you got all the allowance for me for medication yeah you got all the allowance for gas yeah you understand oh those are kind of expenses i can say okay maybe that man is going there yeah. but you got all that shit covered yeah. you got some te- some are provided by accommodation yeah. the roof on top yeah that covered yeah right son yeah air time covered yeah yes son yeah no the, no mm. i come to you what are you gonna fucking use that money for you're gonna make sure you're secure we're secure no listen do you think yeah, that person, investment okay yeah, investment. you think the person wants to lose that now okay investment after, after get, getting all no, that yes yes yeah. yes then i get it maybe invest 5m every yeah. month yeah but now where's the, the 15 do you think they're going to want to lose that lifestyle now after tasting it but that's, that's what they call, that's that, 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 that means that's the, invo- invo- the investment i'm talking about yeah you invest in that but where is the rest going and you go ahead to steal from people yeah because they're trying to make sure they're secure for the rest of their life you want to, you you, you someone else is going to get elected they're going to lose this office they're going to lose this, no, this stupid <laughs> actually going, i can't buy going to lose for real no bro until people, people until until, up, until africa will change that mindset yeah. that me i'm going to politics to just convert people yeah. and eat people i swear africa we're gonna still go stay down there until never like for me i always keep an open mind man i don't be, i don't be like uh ah, this that's guy. the corruption i'm talking about yeah that's the corruption i'm talking about bro you can't tell me that we are here struggling to beat corruption in africa yeah that's why the first question I was asking you that we have all these fucking resources. Yeah. We trying to we have all this basic weather. Yeah. We have everything that needs to make Africa the greatest continent on the planet earth. Yeah. And God did that for us. Yeah. But you know what kills us and takes us down every single day? It's corruption. And our corrupt leaders are the one old those old school leaders that whenever I'm broke. I'm an anas broke nigger. Then whenever I want to get rich, let me go to to politics. Yeah, but you don't know what it took them to get there. To get there, just like their fucking nine mouth took them there. Now imagine someone that. Bro, also... let me let me ask you. Uh-huh. I want to kill you. Uh-huh. Hmm? Uh-huh. I'll come here trying to convince you. Uh-huh. Maybe I I'll call my dogs like, hey, you see this place here? I'll go there. I'm bringing him. Uh-huh. So my only way is to convince you you come with me. Yeah. So these are the same that these politicians do to us. Come, ah, you see that Lord, this guy's not doing it, the president is not doing it, he's an evil, he's an evil. But when I I'm gonna do for you this, I'm gonna help you this, I'm gonna help you this, I'm gonna do this for you. You you it's like like your wife or these guys who like their girlfriend that you know what me, I have everything, I'm gonna do for you everything. And when they reach the marriage, what happens? People slaughter 